Hello and welcome back to my channel. So Blackmagic, they released the latest update to their iOS devices, which is 2.2. And they also released an update for the Pixis camera, Pixis camera only sadly, version 9.2. And this allows you to remotely control your Pixis camera via your iOS device. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step guide in terms of how to set that up because it baffled me for a second. So I thought I'd make a video for you to follow along and make it easy for yourself. So join me after the break and let's set up remote recording recording on the Pixis. Right, so there's two ways of getting a Wi-Fi connection to the Pixis. You can either connect via USB-C up here, or you can connect via Ethernet. The Pixis doesn't have its own Wi-Fi transmitter or receiver on board, although it does have Bluetooth. So if you want to get a picture in and out of the Pixis via Wi-Fi, you've got to use one of these two methods. So with Ethernet, you just plug your Ethernet cable in here, this slot, like that. And you can then have a wired connection to your router. Or you can plug your USB-C up here. And then you plug into your iPhone. And then that's your connection done in terms of tethering. Okay, but one thing I should mention is before you do any update, you'll have to update the firmware on the Pixis to 9.2 and on the iOS app, you'll have to update it to OS 2.2. But before you do any updates on your Pixis, I would recommend that you back up your setup if you have any setups. So for example, I have presets for the different setups that I have. And so I have them stored on the Pixis, but it's always a good idea to back it up to external device, external storage, when you're gonna do any sort of update, just as a precaution, I would advise that. So you go to export, import, change it to export, then you say export, and then it says it already exists because I've done it already, but then anyway, I'll do it again, replace, and then that's uh, how you go through and you do it for how many presets you have. So let's go back to setting it up so you can use it as a remote. Yeah, you wanna to go to remote control. Just where it says remote control, you wanna set that to on. And I've set it to control and monitor. You need to set a remote password. I can't remember which order you do it in, but basically you need to set the password before it'll allow you to do remote control or vice versa. So set your password, doesn't need to be anything too strong. Okay, and then in terms of setting up the software, that's pretty much it. Again, let me show you the setup here. If we go, uh, if we go here, we can have a look. You're seeing it's software 9.2. It's been updated earlier, obviously, so I can show you that. For now, let's go out of there. Then you see that icon appears there. And with that icon, that's showing you that it is set up as a remote camera now. In fact, there's one more thing we need to do. We need to log in in terms of logging into Blackmagic Cloud. Now, my understanding is you don't need to actually log in to make this work, but if you're gonna be uploading proxies, etc., then you need to do it. And I did log in previously, but I was also able to log out and still get it to work. So I'm just saying as a precaution, if it doesn't work for you, then perhaps you will need to log into your Blackmagic account. So let me give myself internet by plugging in my phone. So now the phone is connected, what I'm gonna do is go to try and log into the Blackmagic Cloud. So if you go up here and it says that I need to log in there. Okay, let's try logging in using the QR code. So let's go here to Blackmagic Design and authentication. And it wants me to enter that confirmation. I'll say yes, that's right and I'm linked successfully, click OK. And now if you look up here, you can see that I am logged in and it's showing my, all my clips and my storage, etc., etc. la la la. So now I can turn that off. Okay, right, so assuming you've set everything up previously on the uh, camera app, the things you need to change really are when you come down to remote camera control. So you gotta enable remote camera control firstly. 
Um, also, I've set this to controller. So I'm saying that I want this to be the controller. And also you can name the phone or the device that you're using up here. And uh, for me, I've just named it that. And it's available for controlling and monitoring. But like I said, I want to use it only as a controller. So I've set it to that. And I also enable sync record across cameras. So when you hit record, it records on the Pixis. Presumably you will be able to do this if you have additional cameras. I don't know if that it will include multiple Pixises or whether or not there will be multiple iOS devices to be determined. Okay, so sync across cameras is set. So now if you go back to cameras up here, we can see that we're still monitoring what's coming out of the iPhone at this point. But now if we click on this icon up here, that's where the magic happens. So it tells you that this camera is the iPhone because we've named it. And the available cameras are this one, which is the Pixis. So you click on that. And like I said, this is where the magic happens. So now, well, it's gone black at the minute. Who wasn't doing that earlier? Um, okay, no, it's actually showing it now. So this is actually what the Pixis is seeing. So now you can see that the Pixis is tethered to the phone and you have this indicator here saying to you that it's tethered and you can start and stop record on the Pixis using this controller. And here you can see it's turned orange to indicate that it's being controlled. It's a remote recording camera. So if we press that record there, you see it starts recording and you get a lovely big red ring around showing you that it's recording and over here you have a recording of the piece pixis stop there and it stops on both units so that's tethering the other interesting thing is that you can actually still tether without this cable to your pixis and how you do that is that you need to have the phone and the Pixis connected on the same Wi-Fi network. So you basically connect them both to the same Wi-Fi network, but you do not need to have internet signal for it to work. You just need to have them both on the same Wi-Fi connection. Okay, so one interesting thing to note here, and I tried a little experiment. I wanted to see if you can actually connect multiple iOS devices to control the Pixis at the same time and it appears not. It appears that you can only connect one device at a time. So here now the iPad is the one that is essentially controlling the Pixis. And if you look at the screen on the iPhone, it says controlled by iPad Pro. So you can do one or the other. The way that the iPad Pro is being connected to the Pixis is via Ethernet. So I've done a hardwired Ethernet connection from the back of the Pixis to my router and it's connecting wirelessly to the iPad because it's on the same network. I can control it wirelessly, which I will show you now. And there we go. It's recording on the Pixis. Stop recording there now. Perfect. It's gone black for some reason. Oh, now it's okay, it's come back. It does that for some reason. It goes black sometimes when you press record. But like now the sea's going black and then it's a little bit strange, but anyway, it does work. So now what I'll attempt to do is I'll attempt to swap it so that I have control on the phone and not the iPad. So let's try that. And there we go. So we swap control from the iPad to the iPhone wirelessly. So now I can control, 
start to stop the Pixis wirelessly from the phone. And again, the warning is swapped over to this device where it's saying it's controlled by OD 15 Pro Max. So I hope you found value in that and you were able to follow along and it's going to be as easy as pie for you now to set up your Pixis and now you know how to set up your Pixis with your iOS devices. So if you found value in this, it would be great if you could like, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff to make the algorithm happy and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay lucky, stay blessed.